What's going on family? It's your man Miami Patron here for another video. If you guys see, I'm actually in a different location. No more are we in Medellin. I'm coming to you from beautiful Santa Marta here in Colombia. I switched out the mountains for the beaches. All right guys, so this is the number one channel for those of you that want to travel full time and make money while doing it. They're called Digital Nomads. So go ahead and leave a comment below of the first place you wanna go ahead and travel to. So now, for those of you that don't know, I lived in Medellin for four months and it was amazing. So what I'm gonna be talking about in this video is the Digital Nomad Guide to Medellin. I'm gonna be breaking down everything from co-working to cafes, what is the best spots to go to of the city and how to do Medellin the right way as a digital nomad. Okay, so the most important part of Medellin is you gotta figure out where you're gonna live, okay? So if you're gonna be going to Medellin, you're gonna probably hear about a couple places, right? But I recommend Poblado and La Rueles. You might hear places like Sabaneta and also Envigado. Okay, so let me tell you the difference between the two. Now, Poblado is gonna be your most touristic area. This is the this is what they call the Strada Uno, right? Like, the, this is the richest part of Medellin. This is where you're gonna find your buildings. Most of the buildings are gonna have security. And basically, it's gonna be where most of your co-working spots, your hostels and different stuff like that, okay? So I would I would say Medellin or sorry I would say that Poblado is the closest to an Amer like a city in America, right? That's where you're gonna see a lot of those restaurants, upper class restaurants. You're gonna see a lot more stuff going on. That's where the most of the nightlife is gonna happen. So if you want to go and you're if you're excited to like meet new people and you're not afraid to spend a little bit of money, I highly recommend Poblado. But let's just say you want to get into Medellin and maybe you want to stay more on a budget. Maybe you want to go ahead and stay low key. You you don't want to you know stay as American as possible, I guess you could say, right? So the next place we can go to is called La, La Rueles, okay? La Rueles is, a little, is about 15 minutes away from Poblado, and it's basically where the colleges are. That's It's the most residential part of Medellin. Everything's gonna be cheaper, right? And it's not gonna be buildings, they're gonna be more of houses and stuff like that. Either place you're gonna choose, it's gonna be safe. So if you haven't seen my video on safety here in Medellin and Colombia, make sure you check this video out. Either one of them, you're gonna be safe because whether you decide to go in La Rueles, you're gonna be, you're gonna be surrounded by colleges. There's a Starbucks there, a lot of restaurants. It's not gonna be as expensive. Or if you decide to go to Poblado, each one of us, each one of them is gonna be a great place. Now I recommend staying in both of them. Like I lived in both parts. I stayed my first couple weeks in La Rueles and then I went over to Poblado. I highly recommend both of them, but that is the two parts of the city that you're gonna go ahead and check out first. Okay, so now that you know what part of the city you wanna live in, let's go ahead and talk about accommodations, okay? So unfortunately, while I lived in Colombia or in Medellin, I actually had an apartment for the entire four months. So I didn't actually get to experience hostels, okay? The hostel and like, I can't really give the most recommendations when it comes to hostels. So I highly recommend using Hostel World, but there is one hostel that I did check out because I'm gonna be talking about it here in a second. It was called Selena. Now Selena is a hostel and a co-working spot. So I found it mostly because of the co-working spot, but if you are looking for a hostel, you can use use Hostel World, I recommend Selena. Selena was amazing, okay? Now talking about Selena, what I wanna go into is co-working spots, okay? When I was there in Medellin, most of the time I worked out of my house, but there was two co-working spots that I found, okay? One was WeWork, and I'm not gonna lie, because I came from Miami, and the WeWork in, in Miami was pretty expensive, especially for a startup when I was just getting started up in my business. But when I moved to Medellin, and I saw this, uh, the WeWork, guys, the WeWork, I wish I got video of it, but I didn't have the YouTube channel when I first started. But the, the, the WeWork in Medellin is beautiful. It's on the 17th floor in downtown and it's just the amazing view of the entire city. So what you're gonna pay for the for a hot desk at the WeWork in Medellin downtown in Poblado is $175 a month, okay? It's so super economical compared to what it is in you know New York City, Los Angeles, or Miami. So I highly recommend checking out we, WeWork. Another spot you can talk about, which I just mentioned, is Selena. Now Selena is gonna be about $80 a month. And guys, I, had, I I went to WeWork, but I really should have went to Selena, all right? Selena, I, I can't, I wish I would have got more video of Selena. Selena was really cool because not only was it a hostel, it was a restaurant, at night, they threw a bunch of parties too. So that like some of the most craziest parties and most fun and like meeting some of the girls and stuff of the, that I met in the city were at the night parties at Selena, okay? So upstairs you're gonna see your co-working spots, all right? So when it comes to the co-working spots, they have fast internet, coffee. It's not as nice as the WeWork, but I would really choose Selena for these reasons. Number one, it's a little bit cheaper than the WeWork. And number two, you're gonna meet way more people. There's just more events going on. They really take care of their people. So I highly recommend if you do find a co-working spot, and you're staying in the Poblado area, check out Selena. Now we're gonna hop into nightlife because if you're hopping into Medellin, you cannot 
miss up on the nightlife. So I'm gonna give you a couple places in which you can enjoy that. The first place you're gonna find is Parque Lleres, okay? Parque Lleres is one of the most, is the most popular tourist spot in all of Medellin, all right? It's called Parque Lleres. That's where you're gonna see most of the bars and all that kind of stuff. Now, granted, if you do go to Parque Lleres, you are gonna pay the gringo prices. Everything is way more expensive. So make sure you check out my cost of living in Medellin video where I break down how much all the alcohol costs, all, the, all that kind of stuff. Everything's broken down in that video, so make sure you check it out. But other than that, you can go to Parque Lleres. The second place you can go to if you're gonna be in Medellin is La Setenta. La Setenta is in La Reles, okay? Poblado has Parque Lleres and La Reles has La Setenta. So La Setenta is La 70, number 70, okay? For you gringos out there that don't speak Spanish. All right, La Setenta. Now, the vibe for, for Parque Lleres in Poblado is gonna be more nightclubs. You're gonna see nightclubs, they're gonna be music, disco, you know, techno, all that kind of stuff. Now, when you go to La Setenta, it's a lot different vibe. When you get to Colombia, one thing you're gonna notice about the nightlife is it's not like America, it's not like Miami, it's not like Los Angeles. So the difference you're gonna see at La Setenta is most people are gonna be sitting at tables, okay? It's not like in America where there's a dance floor and people are associating. Most people are gonna be in groups and everybody knows each other knows each other so if you're a single guy and you're trying to meet girls or you're trying to go out and meet new people i wouldn't really recommend la setenta i probably went there about three times and each time i didn't really like it and end up leaving to parque Lleres, okay but that's another place you can go ahead and party to party to party at right now the third and final spot i'm going to give you is a free salsa class because if you're coming to colombia or if you're coming to medellin you have to do a salsa class so where you can go to is son havana it's in lateralis okay and i believe it's on a wednesday they have a free salsa class all right so go ahead and check that out son havana in lateralis and get your free salsa on but later in the night the pros come in so if you're not a pro you're gonna have some I w i'm not a pro when it comes to salsa so i went ahead and uh I ended up leaving because I, I just got destroyed in that place. But if you want to do salsa and want to try it out, or if you like it, make sure you check out Son Havana. But let's hop into the next one, which, which is attractions in Medellin. Guys, if you're liking this video, make sure you subscribe below because I'm always putting out content like this. So every city that I go to, I tell you the spots to go to and how to become a digital nomad. So make sure you subscribe below. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into attractions, okay? So if you're watching this video, you're probably doing a lot of research when it comes to Medellin or Colombia in general. So the places that I recommend going to as an attraction when you get to Medellin is number one, Guatapé, right? Make sure you check out this video right here where I actually go to Guatapé and I show you this amazing view. Honestly, this is probably the most amazing view I've ever seen in my life. It almost looks like a movie, right? The, the water, the mountains, and it's just amazing. So make sure you check out that video. So you're probably, if you're going to Medellin, you're going to want to check out Guatapé. The second place you're going to want to check out is Comuna Trece or Comuna 13, okay? So if you guys don't know the story of Comuna Trece, basically it was the most dangerous part of Medellin. That's where all the Sicarios, when the Pablo Escobar stuff was going on. And basically it was the most dangerous part. Now it's the most touristic part in all of Colombia because they turned a negative into a positive because now it's full of graffiti. They use graffiti to get rid of the, of the, of the dangerous um, stuff that was going on in the city. So you're probably gonna wanna check out Camina Trece. And the last part I'm gonna go ahead and recommend is check out, check out Joaquin Botanico. Because if you don't know about Medellin, it's in a forest, right? It has some of the most beautiful weather, but it's in a forest. And so basically there's different parks and forests all throughout the city. But Joaquin Botanico is one of the most beautiful parks. It's full of flowers and green and bush and there's always a lot of events there. So make sure you check that out. Uh, I'll probably put a little thing right here that way you know how to spell it, but check out what Joaquin Botanico while you're in Medellin. We talked about co-working spots, but let's just say you're a digital nomad, you're just getting started out, or you are on a budget and you're not ready to pay for a co-working spot. Do not worry because I got your back every single time you guys already know so i'm going to tell you about the different kind of cafes you can check out in medellin where you don't have to pay anything but you can still get your work done if you're starting out on your digital nomad journey so make sure you check out this video here where i actually show you the different locations um in in medellin but anyways i'm going to break it down for you really quickly so the first and the best cafe in all of medellin and parque Lleres, this is in parque Lleres, is pergamino right there's two locations uh in medellin there's one on calle uh, calle 10 b Calle, calle 10B, and also right on Calle 33, I think. Make sure you check out this video, I, I'll show you where it's at. This is one of the coolest cafes that I've really seen, so I highly, highly recommend checking out Pergamino. The second cafe you could check out is Starbucks, right? So for those of you that are coming from America and you just want your Starbucks fixed, there is a Starbucks, one in Laurelis and then one in Poblado. So that's where actually where I got my start when I first met, went to Medellin because I didn't know anything. I wish I had this video when I first got started, which is why I'm making it for you guys. But anyways, I went to 
with Starbucks, really fast Wi-Fi, anything you can expect from Starbucks, you're gonna see it there. And the third and final cafe where you can find free Wi-Fi is Juan Valdez. Now Juan Valdez is gonna be in the Barca Yedis area. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and you're gonna love it there. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video because here in Santa Marta, it is hot. I don't know if you can see my face, I'm sweating because this is no longer the mountains, this is humidity, this is the beach, all right guys? So make sure you subscribe below because now that I'm in Santa Marta going to Cartagena, I'm gonna be showing you the best spots here in Santa Marta. So make sure you follow me on the gram at Miami Patron. Make sure you subscribe below because this is the number one spot to become a digital nomad. So uh, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Miami Patron out.